Hi guys, you're welcome today. Welcome to another Minecraft Mind tutorial today. I'm going to teach you how to make any custom vanilla block. So, you might have noticed over the couple of last tutorials, I know I've took a little bit of a break, but um, they're quite simple tutorials. We're literally just having these. So, what I'm going to teach you is the basics of how to turn any vanilla block into your own custom block. So what we're going to be doing today is actually going to be getting the tin door done. But um, we're going to be doing it from scratch. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a block tin door. And what we're going to do is the first thing to get started is do extend. And there's typically already block for it. So if we type in block, because all blocks have the prefix block, press control space. We now have all the different blocks that we can use right here, so I can make this a bit bigger. So what we can do, we could e like easily do any of these, but what we're going to do is find the one that we want. So we're going to do the block door, so doors near the top, and all it is is block doors somewhere here. Um, there it is, block door. So you choose which one you want, it's going to more than likely make you want to have a constructor and one thing you need to do is make sure the constructor is actually public so we can access it in our mod blocks class. The material, well you just put the material in, so as material.iron material.iron and don't forget to put your unlocalized name in and all we need to do is just set up our different variables. So, and that's pretty much all we need to do. Now, the way I get the files for the models and that lot is actually quite easy. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to open up a new explorer and we're going to head over to percent app data percent like so you can do dot minecraft so this is where my minecraft is installed and then you just want to go over to versions you choose your version so ours is 1.11.2 you go to jar now you want to make sure you've got winrar installed because when and when you install it make sure you have the uh, setting for opening up jar files and here we've got the whole of the minecraft code what we're going to do is head into the assets folder, the Minecraft, and the block states. And now we're going to find it. So that's the Acacia door. So I'm going to just control C on this. Let's go into our uh, resources. And in the block states, we're going to paste this. And we're going to rename it to tin door. Like so. And here's all our tin. I'm using Notepad++. The model... We see we have Acacia door. We're going to press Control and H when uh, Acacia door is highlighted. And what we want to do is type in BOE, so your mod ID, and then whatever you're going to call it. So mine's just going to be tin underscore door. And what they'll do is if I replace all, we see we've already got our tin door already done. So that's got every single different variant done for us so let's head over back to the models and in the block so if we head over back onto WinRAR And don't forget, you also want to do the crafting recipe. You know what a crafting recipe looks like. But we need to go into mod blocks first and do a public static block and tin door. And like all blocks, we need to just initialize this. So tin door equals a new block tin. Uh, if you spell tin right, tin door. And it's just tin underscore door. Now don't forget, add on. And then we need to just register the block as well. So just register block, 
tin door and typically register renders will be fine register render tin door so there's a couple of things we could do now if you head into here and we press control space it's going to bring up all the classes in block door so what we want to do is you could have a look at this and see if there's any methods that you like so there's more than likely going to be a useful method i'm going to just take a look in the block door file by pressing holding control click on block door and let's see where it makes a sound and somewhere in here um let's try and find it on block activated okay so what we're going to do is if i look in this the on block activated it plays this so open and close sound but it calls the get open sound and get close sound so let's control click this and what it does that's actually an id of an event so we don't really want that really so here we've got the play event what we're going to do is select this copy and paste it go over to here copy and paste it i'm just going to format it how i like to format my stuff um Okay, so the game's loaded up, so upon loading up the game, there is some errors. So, more than likely, with most vanilla blocks, for some reason, the powered true, the powered tag, is never in the block state. For some reason, I don't understand why. So, what we're going to have to do is automatically add this ourselves. So, I'm going to just put a comma on the end... And I'm going to just leave a gap so I know where it is. Get rid of the comment on this end. And save. And then don't forget to put on the end powered. So uh, where does it want the powered? It does powered on the end. So on the end we just want to do a comma powered equals false. And like so, that should now be fixed. So we're more than likely going to have to restart our game because of this. We'll be able to tell because the console will tell us whether it's still not working. But hopefully now it will work. And like so, we now have no errors in the chat. In the console, I mean, um, which is great. So hopefully we can go to our creative tab and see that our door will work. So let's just head over to our blocks. You see a tin door, a nice coloured tin door. You can place it now. That is a problem. I think I know what the problem is. Um, it's the item that places the block. So we're going to need a different item block. So we're just going to do a new item block. And it's a new item. And it just do item door. And all we're going to put is tin door in here. And that door will automatically place our block correctly. Um, let's take a look at item door. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is... This item door isn't actually an item block, it's just a separate item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it an item block. So I'm going to go all the item block door. And then let's pretty much get all of this. And open it up. And at the top we're going to need to put extends item block. Control shift O to import this. Uh, change this to constructor 
remove this and it's more than likely going to want to super the block so super the block like so we don't need that here like so and the block is already saved just in that super so if we do item block door control shift o and like so that should now work okay so the game is loaded up so we should be able to go in our test world and our item block should now work with our door so if we just get the door again it seems to have disappeared from my inventory probably because the item block has changed we place it and now we get a beautiful tin door now we can get some get some redstone power it and you hear the sound that we said earlier which is pretty decent so obviously this will be able to place in any way let's compare it to an iron door this looks severely similar no it's actually dramatically lighter i thought it was exactly the same so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you've learned something today on how to make your own vanilla like blocks for your own mod so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out